Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. We have a fun week starting off. It's Tuesday. Yesterday I took a nice mental health day. I actually did vlog it though. And today we're starting the week off. I went to Connecticut this morning and had Andrea Laventhal. Uh, she is the style and beauty director at People Magazine. I did her AM cover this morning, it was so fun. But woke up early to get out to Connecticut and I didn't vlog, so we're starting the vlog now, but it's so exciting because Aunt Zebby's in town. Aunt Zebby's here. Oh my gosh, you look unreal. Who are you talking to? My vlog. Oh, okay. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday. 39 again. 39! Love the fit. Can you can we get the deets? Veronica M jumpsuit. Love. I think it's Veronica M. So cute. And I guess that's a Valentino belt. And I guess. And and these are Vince boots. You look amazing. And that's it. I love it. So we have a lovely evening ahead. One of my favorite evenings to do in New York City, and that is dinner and a show. You heard it right. Um, also, I'm wearing my hair straight for the first time in a while, and I'm definitely vibing with it. Tonight, we are going to see Hamilton! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for my birthday. She got us tickets to see Hamilton and we decided to come see it on her birthday. So of course we're gonna go to dinner before. I made us a reservation at Arthur and Sons in the West Village. We're ready a little early. So we thought we'd walk around West Village a little bit and then find ourselves at Arthur and Sons. It's like Italian family style, perfect for her and I. And then we're gonna head uptown. I believe the theater is in or near Times Square. So oh, I've wanted to see Hamilton for so long and for whatever reason I haven't. Um, so it's a really sweet, generous gift. The theater kid in me is really excited. I feel like I know some of the songs already. Um, I guess I'll show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing just this black long sleeve high neck dress from Abercrombie underneath. But I'm realizing the black doesn't match the black with my boots, but I'm just gonna choose to overlook it because I'm already dressed at this point and I can't be bothered. I wonder if I didn't say anything to you guys if you would have noticed. Um, the star of the show is this blazer. I got it from Source Unknown. Um, Bridget Acquired Style was wearing it and I immediately responded to her story and was like, where'd you get this? Cause I love how it cinches, how it crosses over, beautiful brown color and then Black boots are from Aide, if that's how you pronounce it, Aid. Um, and then my earrings, I can't stop wearing them. They're from Electric Picks. Like I said, I straightened my hair today because it's like not super humid out, so I can like finally do that. I'm gonna do this bag, dinner, and a show. back at it we're both in our fuzzies yeah <laughs> we're going to pilates we're going to brooks pilates right yes we're so excited i'm nervous as heck yeah i'm not gonna like, lie i was very sore but it's a good sore it's a good it's a sore. good sore because it's just gonna be like you me and her right yeah probably yeah, yeah so it's like private so she pays attention yeah so you can't like really no there's no slacking there's no slacking so but it'll be good it's a good start to the day it's chilly and yeah happy yeah. wednesday Bye. Okay, we are back from Pilates. It was so hard, like genuinely so hard, but Brooks Pilates is amazing. Sarah is awesome. Great way to start the day. And um, now I'm back and my Aunt Debbie and I are gonna go get some brunch lunch situation. I don't have makeup on, but I did put self tanner on my face last night and I'm really happy I did. I think that helps. Here is the outfit. This sweater I'm obsessed with. I'm like toying with the idea of keeping it one unbuttoned. You like that? Okay, yeah. This is from Revolve. I will have it linked on my LTK. Like, it's a dream. And then I'm wearing my sweatpants jeans from Rag and Bone. These are so comfortable. And then just some little ballet flats from Amazon. And I'm gonna do these sunglasses from Bottega. And then bag is Mango. So this is a little 
fit for today. We're gonna walk around, get some lunch, might go to anthropology because I actually haven't been to the one at Chelsea Market in a while and it's like big and I, they might oh, have like, yeah, we'll go into Chelsea Market because apparently there's some like places to buy groceries in there. So I wanna check that out. And yeah, we're just gonna have a little lovely Wednesday. Wait, Guys, we are back from shopping and walking around and we just stumbled onto the couch. All of a sudden my hands clicked the remote. I'm trying to say we just stumbled into watching Tell Me Lies. It just like happened. Like, I don't know how it happened. I don't know what's going on with my hair. Like, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, we're on, I'm on season two. My aunt's up to date. I'm about to start season six. And she was like, I think I need to take the 315 train. I'm like, yeah, cause otherwise we're just gonna sit here and watch the rest. But I'm also just tempted to get to just do work while watching it. Cause it's so good. I'm just like, everything. It's just, it's so toxic. It's so toxic. But um, we had a lovely day. The weather is stunning. I ended up being just warm enough in this. I had to button it though for extra warmth, but it's a lovely, this is a very rare Wednesday for me. It's like very leisurely. I love it. I just did my makeup, touched up my hair, and I'm heating up the last little bit of my split pea soup I made the other day. In my last vlog, in my mental health day vlog, I made split pea soup and I'm really proud of it and it is really good and it is my dinner for tonight. Um, I'm going to two events. Kindle is having an event and Lucy Score, who's a great author, is doing like a Q&A. So I wanna go to that. And then Remy Bader just came out with her own line with um, Sam's Club called, I think it's called Edited by Remy. So she invited me to her like launch event tonight and Cass is gonna come with me. This is my split pea soup. It looks so good, I know. Um, so yeah, I have to figure out what I'm wearing. Remy had sent me an outfit to wear, which is really nice, but it's not gonna come in time. So I'm trying to figure out, cause that was like my plan. It's such a cute outfit. It's gonna be like a denim on denim moment. So now I got a thing here I what I'm wearing, but this will be my dinner. That's that. Okay, this is what I decided to wear tonight, which I feel like is perfect. And it might be a go-to outfit formula for me this fall. So I just have on this white tank. You could obviously wear a white long sleeve, short sleeve, whatever it may be. But I've got that and then tucked into these jeans from the brand Girlfriend Denim. Belt is Heaven Mayhem. And then I added over top this trench from Abercrombie. And I feel like it just puts it all together. And I have some little black booties on. Put on my rings again, same earrings from Electric Picks. Um, need to charge my social battery. It's clearly low. I feel like you could tell in this vlog. I was so like, earlier and then I just sat and watched Tell Me Lies for hours and I forgot how to be in real uh, civilization. So, <laughs> but I'm excited to see some peeps. I'm excited to go to this Kindle event. I think there's a new Kindle or some sort of something dropping. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. See Lucy scores Q&A and take the night away. I don't know, Cass is like, should we get dinner slash drinks after? I'm like, maybe let's go. Fabulous night, truly. The Kindle event was so great. Lucy's score, literally we were like a few feet away from her. It was so fun listening to all the, like her answers to their Q and A. Like Margo asked her, she's like, are you in a group chat with all the other smut authors? Like, I don't know, it was just like kind of iconic. And they sent us home with the new color Kindle, which was so fun. Then we went over to Remy's event and I literally told Remy I need the DJs that she had. They were like, uh, sisters, it was like a duo. It was so good. Like I walked in and they were playing Fancy by Drake and I was like, all right, so I'm gonna need their phone number. You know, because I'm in the market for a DJ right now, no. But it was amazing. And then me, Margo, and Cass um, found ourselves at Cross Cipriani, which is like a members only social club in like South Seaport, like not even Seaport, like the financial district, just like super South, like the southernmost part of the island. 
um, and it was really lovely. We yapped, as the kids say, for a few hours. I definitely had one too many Moscow mules, and it was a freaking Wednesday. But I don't, I will not be drinking tonight. I don't even think I'll be drinking tomorrow night. Well, we'll see about that. But so today is my my Saturday. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just made some coffee. I took a shower, shooting some stuff for a campaign I'm doing today. Mar I'm seeing Margo again tonight. What a treat because she launched her own workout collection with C of E. It's like this beautiful light purple set. Or it's a few things, but I think I got the set. I don't know. I have to check. I have to open my pack. I'm going to do that right now. But it truly was like a fabulous night. It's one of those nights where it's like, oh, I love living in New York. There's just so much to do. Everyone is out and about. Okay. So cute. So we've got this really cute. Oh, that she. I got the high neck tank. She has like different variations in this light purple color with white. What did she send me? Oh, that's really nice. She sent me the skirt and the leggings. So I can choose. Good thing I just shaved my legs. Oh my god, this is so cute and it feels really thick and comfortable. Oh my god, there's more. Ah, so kind. And then here's the sports bra. And then the leggings. Oh, I like how there's the white stripe down the side. So I get to pick what I'm wearing tonight, which is very nice. I also want to highlight, as you can hear it in my bathroom, I'm playing this playlist right now that I just found called Coffee Shops in the Fall on Spotify. And it's hitting. It's like Bonnie Iver, Camp, Ben Howard, Bleachers, a little Taylor Swift, Vance Joy, like that vibe. If that's your vibe, you would like this post. But I have some work to do, so I'm gonna go brush out my hair, which is my least favorite thing to do when it's like wet and you have to like spray with leave-in conditioner and all that. Sit on my computer, get some work done, and then I actually do have Glam Squad coming to do my hair at 11 because I have all kinds of things I need my hair done for in the next few days. So I was like, let me just get a blow out because my hair lasts longer that way. I also, last night, kind of drunkenly self-tanned. It's not bad, okay, my hand, but that, that is bad. I don't know where the error was there because this side doesn't have that, so not great. Hi guys, so my room's a mess, <laughs> um, but my hair looks so good. I'm really happy with just the way other people can grow my hair is so much better than I can. Um, this is my first outfit that I'm like, shooting for Abercrombie. I love working with them because I just wear their stuff all the time. Like this is so cute. This is perfect. I feel like if you go into an office too, it's a turtleneck short sleeve. Like I'm so obsessed with this. I need it and not the other colors. And then these are the Curve Love tailored pant. Like. I have them in so many colors and I just got this gray color. So good. Um, so I'm gonna go shoot these looks, earrings, electric pegs, like obsessed. All right, filming is done. Oh my God, it was the sweetest thing too. Oh, I, I was gonna talk about something I was gonna go and I'm still gonna talk about it on the podcast. My doorman, once a week at like a fashion show, pretty much. Like I usually once a week I'm filming or like shooting outfits. And so there's only one way to leave the building and that is in front of my doorman every single time. My last building, they kind of just never really looked up. They never really noticed if I was changing. This place, my new building, they are so attentive. So like they're watching and <laughs> in a good way, like I don't mean it in a bad way. Um, but so, you know, they're used to now, like oh, I walk out in one outfit, I come in, 10 minutes later, we come out in another outfit. Like they just know the drill, but they kind of like, they know what I do at this point and they'll just be like, nice like have a good one you know see you in 10 minutes like bye but we don't really address it and then i was just going down just now and one of the doormen he goes danielle if you need a good spot for a photo go to blah 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 street on the left side there's this really awesome wood panel i feel like you'd love it for photos and i was like oh my god that's so cute and low-key i was on outfit number four and I was like, I don't know where else to take a photo right now. And so me and my assistant walked over there and it was actually a really great spot and we took photos there, but it was just so cute. He was like, hey, I'm sure you're in, you're in need, so. Anyways, let me just expose myself here. This is what happens when I film reels and TikToks. So, and that's laundry that I folded literally on Sunday or Monday. So need to do this, like my closet too, it's just so messy. Um, and I have that paddle paddle event tonight, pickleball event tonight. So I also really wanna finish Tell Me Lies. And I feel like maybe if I put it on right now, it might motivate me, but also I wanna sit and watch that like in the dark when I have so much time. I do not wanna finish Tell Me Lies, I'm so sad. Ah, 
gosh, I listen to a podcast or should I watch Tell Me Lies? Decided to make some sipping broth while I clean. This is from the brand Art of Broth. It's sipping like chicken, beef broth. I think they have a vegetable one too. This one is Thai lemongrass and it tastes so good. And it definitely like, if I'm not super hungry but I'm needing a little something, this is perfect. It's so soothing. It, it's like you're drinking tea, but it's savory. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So gosh, it is so tasty. Took a break from cleaning. The progress is great. I FaceTimed my brother a little bit at the same time, which always helps drinking my broth. I'm about to hop on a call with some people from my team. Alrighty. No one else is here. I love how on Google Me it says like if anyone else is on the call because then I kind of like wait a second until there's other people and then I'm like, okay, I'll join because it's so vulnerable sitting on a call that no one else is on except, okay, now there's one person. Okay, I'll join. Hello. Hey. You have a full face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I am. Um... The dresser is now bare. I just have a few things left to put away and I'm just gonna put these under my bed because I have drawers, sneaky drawers that I put a lot of like my sweatsuit stuff in. Also, how good is this Colt Guy Gap collab? Like, so sick. I actually didn't show you guys a before of my closet, I believe, and that was because I was so embarrassed. This all looked fine. It was just, I, you couldn't see the floor. I had boots everywhere. I had bags, tote bags, shirts that I didn't want to hang up. Like, just, it was not good. So. I guess you guys can't appreciate it because you didn't see the before, but I'm really happy that I can see the floor in here. So this is the the set I ended up wearing. I like how you can mix, mix and match everything. Um, so I did this high neck swap with the skirt. Actually, I thought it was really cute and I have self tan on. Oh guys, I put more self tan on this morning. It's the Tan Lux like Paris Hilton collection, collaboration, whatever. It went away for the most part. There's like one little streak, but yeah, I just sprayed it right here and it went away. So that worked out in my favor. I don't know if we're actually, it's like it, the event is at Paddle House, which is, hmm, it smells really good. I'm mixing two scents. I'm doing Joe Malone, Velvet Road and Ooze, and Oud, oh my God, and uh, Commodity Milk. So good. But the event is at Paddle House in Williamsburg. And I don't know if, I don't think Paddle and Pickleball are the same thing. Unclear, but I think we're actually playing, which I'm quite nervous about because Chagirl hasn't played in a minute. I'm gonna put a little lotion on my legs. And it's obviously chilly outside. I don't, I think this place is outdoors. I'm not sure. I'm gonna bring a white sweatshirt to wear over top slash over the shoulder. But yeah, I'm excited to support Margo. She always is so supportive in everything I do, and this is so on brand for her. She loves, oh, where's the lotion? She loves this color. Like I, When I think of Margo, I think of the color purple. And I think they named this color Lavender Haze because, you know, she loves Taylor Swift. So, be fun. Putting some lotion all over since this is like fitness related. I want to look nice and glowy and toned, even though I am not. But let's go. the best time at the event and I am back now and I'm, I just showered, put on my pajamas and I'm just doing the dishes, like nothing really exciting. I FaceTimed Delaney for like literally an hour. We had so much to catch up on, but it is time for me to play Tell Me Lies and I do fear that I'm going to finish it tonight because I only have two episodes left and Margo was telling me that I need to watch both of them together for whatever reason, like maybe Episode seven makes you just like need episode eight. 
I'm like really sad. Also, like I don't want to stay up too late tonight. So I'm gonna enjoy episode seven and see if I get to eight. If not, like I have another episode tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and watch Tell Me Lies and light a candle and romanticize my evening. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm at the end of the last episode. You ready? That's where they leave it at? You're kidding. All right, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Just go one minute up. Holy shit. I am in shock right now. But also like that was kind of a really lovely way to end the season. Like it's drama, but it's like, okay, like they've had their Rocky pass, Brie and Evan. I called it. I literally just took a Snapchat video, sending it to my friends. As soon as he took the audio message and then they went flash forward to like the wedding day, I was like, oh, so we're not gonna see what happened. But also like, I need to know why Steven and Lydia are together. Like that isn't like clear. Steven just is like out to get Lucy constantly and just like ruin everyone's lives. Wow, now I'm done and I have nothing to look forward to, but I need to go to bed, so it's good. Good morning, it's Friday, 7.45. I'm about to head over to Margot's apartment to do AM Uncovered. I am so excited. I literally had to put on this sweater again because I love it so much. Um, and if you're ever wondering about I Am Uncovered, you can watch it on my Instagram. Um, it's like a short form series where I uncover people's morning routines. So I just touched up my hair, I'm drinking some coffee. My lip combo, I'm just having a Margot Osher and Remy Bader week. Like <laughs> this is Remy Bader's um, collaboration with Tower 28 for World Mental Health Day. So it's like a lip liner and lip balm and I'm very impressed so and I love the cause so I'm gonna head over there now and then we're coming back I have organizers coming today my ice machine I think is getting fixed today my fridge so and my freezer so we just have a good day ahead <laughs> AM uncovered is over for the day I don't know that sounded so drama like I just finished I just changed into my sweatpants jeans because just so much comfier I can't get over the shirt like I when no spend is October is done like I need to purchase more of these um, but I need breakfast. I only had, I had one of these. I'm obsessed with these. They're so good for on the go. These core power protein shakes. They're definitely for like after you work out, but like I just needed the protein this morning because I did, I like wasn't in the mood to eat breakfast, which is so off brand, but it was so early. Now I'm like need breakfast. So we're gonna have some bread. Um, Brooke and I are recording the podcast today and we're gonna do it all about like your winter arc and like basically your winter arc is using your winter months to like, become your baddest, coolest self. And like not like not get all sad from the winter and like truly stay on your routine even during the holidays. So we're gonna attempt to do that. Um, so we're gonna do a podcast episode on that today, um, which I think will be fun. So we'll go listen to girls and go. I'm gonna put my eggs away. I'm gonna cook my eggs. I'm gonna eat my eggs. Might order some groceries because I'm actually here this weekend and I'm here next week. Like, it's just so beautiful. I'm here next weekend too? No way, I don't believe it. I think I'm here next weekend too. How crazy. Doesn't that look stunning? Also, I got this candle from the Kindle event I went to and it's coffee in a book. How cute. Okay, I'm gonna eat now. Okay, so here's the down low on what I think we're doing today. The girls are about to be here. We're gonna utilize this space more and um, I have some baskets in my bathroom right now with a ton of tote bags that I think we're gonna put here. Um, there's also definitely more space up there in my closet and then they're also gonna help me um, organize above my laundry machines because I just have all of these tote bags and duffel bags. I've got my suitcases under control but it's the tote bags and duffel bags. I, I can't express this enough. Like both of these baskets, I think we're gonna put in the hallway and organize these better. These are all tote bags. And then these are just like, I also have some clear purses for like stadiums and stuff, but I just have so many of these types of things. And I think they are here. My doorman's calling up. So funny, they called on my home phone, my home phone, my cell phone. Hello. Yes, she can come on up, thank you. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, guys. Look how good that looks. I'm sorry, like I've got my Christmas stuff, towels. They made like, these baskets are the ones that are more accessible, like things that I need quicker, like bath towels and stuff. There's more baskets in the back. Like they only put my wreaths to the side. Oh, they did such a good job. 
And then the way they folded, I'm shook. My tote bags, are you kidding me? And then these are like my bigger tote bags. This is just perfect because I like always am like in need of a tote bag when I'm heading out the door, if I'm giving friends stuff, like I'm like, take a tote bag. And they just put some of my most worn shoes up top. This looks so good. Time has passed, but you guys wouldn't even know. I forgot to vlog, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's because I stayed up late watching Tell Me Lies last night and then got up at 6.30 this morning to do AM Uncovered, but um, I'm so happy Brooke, I didn't know Brooke was watching season two. She just watched like four episodes today so we could talk about it on the podcast. So by the time this video is up, the recap will be up on the podcast. So go listen and hear all of our thoughts. I'm out of breath. Um, I am just so tired, but I'm going to this event with Brooke. I'm having, I'm having an event week. I feel like some weeks I'm like, I don't want to go to a thing. And then this week I'm like, sure. Um, we're going to a sprinter event, which is Kylie Jenner's alcohol brand. We're just going to pop by. So I have a little time before then. Oh my God. I'm like, so how do people wake up so early? It's, it's because then you have to go to bed early. And I, but I'm going to change. I feel like this is not very Kylie Jenner coded. Okie dokie. Here is my outfit to go to the sprint sprinter pop up tonight. A little white tee, black jeans, belt. Kind of just like an original go-to formula for me with some little heels, which is some silver detailing. Added some texture spray to the hair to give it some body. And then I love this like little brown leather moment. Or should I add something oversized? I don't know. I actually meant to put on my low rise jeans, but these are the high-waisted ones. They're from Abercrombie. And we're just gonna roll with it because I'm too lazy to like take all that off. So I don't know. It's not like the most fashion forward thing ever, but it's safe. Had a big, big football day today. Georgia at Texas today. We were supposed to be there, but just decided against it. Oh my gosh, and they're in Austin. There's the Georgia helmet. I'm scared. Hello. I woke up on a Saturday, not hungover. I'm going to take advantage of this. I had a lovely morning. We watched college game day. I mean, it's still going on right now. Um, and I tried to scrub off a little bit of my spray tan because it's just a little all over the place. And I'm gonna go to the gym. Or I was gonna go for a walk, but I feel like I wanna go to the gym and like actually lift some weights, walk on the treadmill, that vibe. I've never been to my apartment gym on a weekend. And I'm really curious if it's really packed. Cause I get like weird. I'm like, oh my God, these are people that like live in my building. I don't know, I'm weird. But I have a cute set on. It's game day, baby. This is a whole set from Live By Active. Wow, I made my bed and I'm on my way to the gym on a Saturday morning, like who is she? Honestly, it's not even the morning anymore. Actually it is, 11.14. Makeup. It's not my best job, at least on the eyes. Like I need to learn how to do my eye makeup. Like I want to learn how to do a wing, but I just can't. So I just, I don't even know. Um, I just, I obviously like kept my curls from earlier. I'm also gonna drink an element or like half an element. But that was such a good workout, and it just is a good reminder because I'm really trying to enter this winter arc situation where you like work out October, November, December, and like not just work out, but like do good and like stay in a routine so that. Come January 1st, you're like already on your grind. I don't know. It just reminded me that like, I literally have a gym in my building and it's so lovely and I get good workouts and I know how, like what to do when I'm in the gym. At least I know things that I like to do and I feel like it's working. So I'm gonna challenge myself to go again tomorrow. Pending hangover. Like I'm in my twenties, I'm having fun, okay? I'm gonna take this out and like curl the front pieces, but I'm hoping this kind of just helps cause I got a little sweaty but I don't wanna wash my hair. And uh, I gotta figure out a game day outfit. Let's go do that. I'm putting a lot of trust in my tripod right now. Georgia, red and black. So 
it's like not even that cold out but it is gonna be cold tonight and it's a night game so when we're leaving the the bar it will be cold um what is my vibe i'm like so not feeling creative i bought this for to wear to texas if i was going but i'm not this is a set i got it at the pants store in alabama i could wear the shirt with like jeans I don't really feel like wearing the skirt part, so this is an option with jeans. I also have this red corset that I could wear with jeans. I think I wore that to, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling a strapless situation today. I just got tired. It's the only thing about working out. You like had that post-workout high and now I'm like getting sleepy or just kind of worn down. <laughs> I'm so excited for tonight. I can't be stopped. I have no clue what to wear actually, you guys. Maybe this is my best option with some jeans. I think I'm just gonna, <sighs> work smarter not harder and just try that off and if it doesn't work then i can change but i'm not gonna pull all these selects for myself like let me just try on one outfit i feel like i need to do my hair before i put on this outfit because i'll just feel like you know like when your hair and makeup aren't done and you're trying on outfits nothing looks as good is this ankle crazy maybe okay we're gonna take these out see if they did anything hello curls I also sprayed in some of this IGK time release bond building. It's like a dry mask and it's supposed to be good for people with hair extensions since you definitely don't wash your hair as much with hair extensions. Ooh, ooh, hello. That's not good, okay. Ah, oh my God, my hair definitely. Wow, oh my God, that just made everything so easy for me. This is Acquired Styled, Acquired Styles, a uh, little Luxie collaboration. I love when it comes in, like, it's perfect. I, I've been using it so, so much. I plugged in my curling iron, but honestly, I mean, maybe I'll just add in a few, but like, this is pretty impressive. I gotta say. So my outfit is for sure giving like, game day in Athens. I might change out of this shirt into a different shirt and then wear the skirt. I have tights on. I took my clear purse that I would wear to games and put it on this coach bag. <laughs> but I almost feel like it blends in, so if I wear a black top, maybe this would pop more and it's a little less. The back of this is cute, but it's kind of like, I should have gotten a size down at the top maybe. And I'm gonna wear cowboy boots. I'm gonna try a black shirt. I have this. But I mean, this is pretty crazy too. I don't know, I think I'm acting as though I am 21 and I am 26. Not just because like 21 year old me would be like, yes. But I don't know, I just don't know. I don't know. I mean, this outfit is so cute, but like, oh my God, clearly I wish I was actually at the game. I mean, it'll play in New York for sure. I've got the shoulder pads going. A little bangle, belt, the skirt, tights, cowboy boots, like, it's giving. I'm gonna try one more black shirt and then see. Okay, I also have this shirt, which definitely it's like, you know, a little more mature, I suppose. I just texted Delaney, I'm like, which? I mean, obviously, like, this is subjectively cuter to me. But then this, it's like a little more reserved. I'm going to a bar in New York. Okay, it's giving, like, tailgating at the stadium but like i don't care i need to pull out all the stops like need all the good vibes because today's gonna be a really hard game like i don't really know how this is going to end but i'm really i'm really happy with this outfit i'm feeling good it's so extra and as soon as i step into my hotel my apartment lobby i'm gonna be like yeah but they know i'm like a psycho georgia fan because <laughs> they're like where are you headed i'm like oh i'm going to this game or i'm going you know so they get it Norma Kamali top with the shoulder pads this bag strap is literally from a clear bag that i got in athens Put it on a coach bag, below the belt belt. Skirt is the pants store, tights. These cowboy boots are Dolce Vita. And then I've got some silver jewels, Amazon sunglasses. So I'm gonna go meet some pals at Amity Hall to watch some of the earlier games. Pre-game like we're getting lit because tonight it's at 30 the docks. But I kinda wanna take a shot. Should I take a shot? I should take a shot. I'm also drinking caffeine, which you guys know isn't every day, so. All right. We're taking a shot. My All my friends are literally there right now. I'm like, literally. Not all of my friends, but the crew that I'm hanging out with before we go out, they're literally all like, where are you? And I am here doing this. But you know what? I need to charge up because it's a long, oh, alcohol doesn't freeze, right? Oh God. Oh my God, my hand's cold. Ah. Wait, nothing? 
Wait guys, is this fake news? What's happening? Or is my freezer that cold? The guy did say my freezer is gonna be extra, that it's gonna be extra cold because he fixed the ice machine and it'll turn off after two days or something. Oh my God, well this isn't going to work. I'm so late now, like it's just not even fun. All right, well, I prefer Grey Goose, but this kettle one is not frozen, so. Wait, I literally didn't even need to pour this in a shot glass because it's in a, well. It's pretty crazy for me to do this. Like no drinks in, just gonna raw dog this. Okay. Cheers. Me alone. <coughs> All right, kettle one, do me, do me well here. Okay. Of course I ate lunch here, but there's food at where they are. Oh my gosh, LOL, I just ate lunch. I didn't even think about being able to eat there. I'm all good, thanks. Well, now I have some time because they're eating, but no, I should just go. No, I should go, I should go, let's go. <laughs> all right, girls, we're headed into the Georgia bar. Are you guys ready? Are you gonna take your hat off? You can keep it on, we can see. Hopefully no one barks at you. <laughs> I won't bully you, I'm not into that. Here we go. and now we're saunaing and yapping. Loving it so much. Okay guys, me and Caitlin are feeling nice and well rested and steamed and saunaed and I'm about to make half-baked harvest wild rice and orzo chicken soup in my dream cooker and I'm so excited. So I think I basically, it says just put everything in, including the chicken, like these are all the ingredients here and it cooks on high for two to three hours. Like that's just so cool to me. So I have a little bit of chopping to do, but other than that, it's going to be pretty easy. I'm really happy. Okay. We're in the kitchen. I'm going to try to chop my onions, but I think I put too many in here. Oh God. There we go. Let's get started. Oh, it's the bun. I'm like sweaty from the steam room. Oh, it's just not working at this moment. I think I need to take some out. I love the smell of onions. And garlic. Oh. It's the cooking channel now. Yes. So usually it works. <laughs> My hair is like, oh, mm, it smells great. Yeah, right? Just this, oh my God, my favorite smell is the smell of onion and garlic cooking, like on the pan. Oh God, the knife. This is just not how it's supposed to be. There we go. Gotta get a nice fine chop. I probably look crazy. <laughs> Your bun is like flopping. I feel it falling. Okay guys, I have everything in here now for now. There's like a couple things I'm adding in later, like the orzo and some parsley, but this is what it said. The chicken's on the bottom. And I'm gonna cook it on high for, it says for two to three hours. So I'm just gonna put it for three. And if I find myself uh, getting hungry, I guess it's really when the chicken's cooked. I guess that's the big tell. So we're gonna slow cook on high for three hours. So what does that put me eating dinner at? 7.39. And there it goes, cook away. All right, it's 7.30 on the dot. And I believe my soup is ready. I hope it's good. It's kind of been a journey. Like you have to add things throughout. Like it definitely wasn't just like you put it in and it's done. Like an hour ago, I shredded the chicken and put it back in and then I added the orzo. I've snacked a little cause I was getting hungry, but I guess we'll give it a go. 
I hope it's good. It was fun to make. Update. The soup was delicious. My stomach kind of hurts though. I don't know if it's because I put, um, per the recipe, heavy cream in it. Or it was because I got goldfish PR in the mail. And just like ate so much goldfish before I ate my soup. And then like now my stomach hurts. I don't know. But I'm drinking bubbles in hopes. Like sometimes when my stomach hurts, I drink bubbles. So that is that. This ended up being a very fun week in my life, like week into weekend. It is now Sunday night. I just popped a melatonin. It's 9, 10 p.m. I'm gonna put the heatless curling rod thing in my hair. Hopefully wake up with some curls and start all over. I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so much for constantly supporting me and watching my vlogs in a world of TikTok and Instagram. It means the world to me, seriously. So. I will see you guys next time for our next video. Good night.